I found out the Capcom arcade cabinet gave me two bonus games for downloading the entire cabinet, I was pretty freaking thrilled. Loved revisiting these games the last few months. And two more sound good to me. So I started with Vulgus, because I'd heard of Vulgus. But 1943 Kai? What is that? Some kind of old fish? <laughs> Now, well, turns out it's an enhanced Japanese version of Capcom's 1943, which was a game about World War II, which your objective is to attack Japan. Well, this is awkward. Anyway, it was 1987. Capcom had just released 1943. It would become an arcade classic and then they realized, hey, this is the gaming industry. And young though it may be, we foresee a time when re-releasing existing games will be commonplace. And so they did. Just a year later, they released 1943 Kai in Japan. Basically a turbo edition of the original 1943. And to be fair, it is quite a bit different. I mean, it's still 1943, but with an even less realistic tone. The new weapons for starters. Kind of a stretch for the 1940s. You have lasers, for example. So any pretense that this is even a slightly realistic game pretty much goes out the window with the spread shot lasers. The graphics have been tweaked a bit too, but it's nothing dramatic. I mean, perhaps the biggest aesthetic difference is that you're flying a different plane. In the original 1943, you're flying a P-38. In Kai, you get a biplane. I mean, unless you're an airplane person, you probably won't notice. But the lasers, those you'll notice. And to be honest, I'd, I'd rather have had a different game joining Vulgus in the bonus 1943 already in the cabinet. And having Kai feels kind of pointless. Like it was added by the redundancy department of redundancies. But it is more challenging, and it does feel more fast-paced than the original. And hey, this is a free bonus game. If there's one thing I've learned in life, never say no to free Kai.